You know, one of my favorite events from Jesus' earthly ministry has to be the triumphal entry into Jerusalem. We read where a great cat crowd gathered to hear Him and to see Him. They gathered for the Passover feast. And as Jesus made His way into town, you know how it goes, they wave the palm branches and they shout, Hosanna, Hosanna, as He makes His way in. Here He comes, the King, the chosen Messiah. He's making His way. And even though the crowd who gathered didn't really grasp everything about Him, they praised Him anyway. But you know, there's a second part of that story that I don't want us to forget. It's in John chapter 12, verses 20 through 27, and it's just as important. The Bible tells us that there were some men there, Greek men, uh, most likely recent converts to Judaism. They had come to Judaism because they, they liked what Jesus was preaching. They liked the message and they, attracted, they were attracted to that. But they hadn't fully committed to it because they didn't really like the rules and the, the restrictions that the Pharisees had placed on them, those Jewish leaders had placed on them. So here they are, gathered anyway, here for the Passover feast in Jerusalem. And as they're making their way through the crowd, they approach one of Jesus' disciples, a man named Philip. Now, we don't really know why they approached Philip out of all the disciples. It might have been because Philip is a, a Greek name. And maybe they felt a connection in some way because of that. But regardless of the reason why, they went to him, they approached Philip, and they made one seemingly simple request. John 12 verse 21 tells us, They came to Philip with a request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. What a great request, right? Haven't we all wanted that at some point in our lives? Don't we all truly want to see Jesus. And if I imagine Philip, he went to meet with, up with Andrew a little time later, I imagine it wasn't a strange request for him either. He met, meets up with Andrew, they go and they find Jesus and they relay this message, this request from these Greek men. But the response that Jesus gives to this request is not what they expected. It wasn't so much an invitation for the men to come and see as it was a description for who they should be. Jesus actually responds to this request by talking about, of all things, death. He said, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it. And those who hate their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must, must follow me. And where I am, there will my servant be also. You see, to the Greeks asking to see Jesus, to meet with Him, Jesus said it's so much more than just seeing. You see, death and seeing Jesus are intimately related. Those men didn't realize that to see Jesus is more than just looking at Him. It's more than just believing in the things that He said and did. To really see Jesus, it's a lifestyle change. I read once that we follow Christ as participants, not spectators. If we want to see Jesus, then we all must learn to die. Jesus knew what that week held for him. He knew that the cross was waiting on him just a few days down the road. And he also knew what was going to be required of us, his people, his followers. We must die to ourselves, not on the cross, but we have to die to ourselves. We must do away with anything that blinds us and prevents us from really truly seeing and experiencing Jesus. So as Easter approaches, my question for you is this, what are you going to get rid of? What part of you needs to die this Easter? In order for you to see Jesus, for you to recognize the Messiah, what are you going to give up? Maybe it's anger or guilt or resentment. Or maybe, it's, maybe you're holding on to your need for control and power or your desire to be right. Or maybe it's material things or obsessions or maybe it's just your personal agenda. Whatever it is that's blocking your view of Jesus, Get rid of it today. Whatever is keeping you from participating in Jesus' mission with Him, 
Let it die today. Believing in Him isn't enough. We are called to live in Him as well. The men said to Philip, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Do you want to see Him too? Do you have that same request? If so, the only thing standing in your way may be you.